Good morning, good morning. It's Christine at Gemini Stitches and it is Vlogmas Day 7. Can you believe it's the seventh day and I've managed to do every world so far? Yes. Excuse the hood. Oh, hang on. This is a rare one because Lily wants to come and say hello. Shall we see if she'll come up? Come here then, darling. Here we go. Oh, your beard's a right mess, isn't it? They're due at the groomers next week, so looking a bit scruff balls at the moment. Say hello to everybody, baby. This is my eight-year-old who's a bit grumpy these days, aren't you? She used to love coming on camera mm -hmm. when I first started vlogging. What are you telling us? Are you telling us a tale? Mm. Yeah. What? Mm. What happened? Oh. I was at my sewing social yesterday, so she's a bit clingy today because she missed her mummy, didn't you? So, I'll try and talk over Lily. Can you hear her? What are you saying? So, I've had a bit of a lie in this morning because I was at the social yesterday and I've not even got dressed yet, and it's half past eight, and I've usually taken the dogs out about eight o'clock, oh baby. So, I'm still in my dressing gown, but I can't wait any longer to open my advance. I've put the hood up, I don't usually walk around looking like this, but I've put it up to spare you the mess that is my hair's nest today. I'm disguising it, making doubt that it's nice when it's not, it is Honestly, it looks like I've been dragged through a hedge backwards. Yeah, don't we? You always look like you've been dragged through a hedge backwards, don't you, baby? Yeah. So, are you going to go down then, Mummy? Can... Oh, oh, she's so cute. <laughs> but this isn't about the dog, is it? It's about Vlogmas. So, come on, down you go. Right. Shall we do the advents first? Fabric Godmother. Now, yesterday, day six, I did not price it up because I was rushing out to the social and was absolutely shattered when I got back. I've had a look and I've measured the ribbon or whatever you want to call it. Yesterday, it's beautiful. Went on the Fabric Godmother website, 90p a metre, and I measured and I've got a metre of it. So yesterday was 90 pence. So I'm going to open today's and then we're going to do our weekly roundup of the Fabric Godmother calendar and see where we're up to. So we need day number seven. There it is. Now, this one definitely rattles. Not sure whether that's a good sign or a bad sign. But let's see. You don't want to get open this time, do you? I'm trying. To, oh, there we go. Not to break the boxes because I want to reuse them. Ooh, it's a little packet. This is get this baby open. Oh, a little tag that says, if you can say, oh, there we go, fabric only. Interesting. I need to have a think where I would use that. Hang it on my door. It's a bit small for that, isn't it? If anyone's got any ideas what I'd use this for, let me know. It's very cute. Not sure how, how I'm going to price that up. But we'll see. They might have it on the Fabric Godmother website like every other time. But, you know, cute. Not sure what I'd use it for, if I'm honest. But cute. So it's not a win and it's not a fail. It's a 
middle of the road kind of gift that one to me so as I said that's going to get priced up in a minute when I've opened it's it's a sad day today that's why I couldn't wait to get dressed because I love opening her gifts just let me bob this one down here out of the way now secret girly Sam has done me 12 days of Christmas so let me try and work out where we're up to if I'm at day seven am I on day four day two day one day three am I on three I don't know. I'm going to have to look through here because she's numbered them all once. Well, bear with me a minute while I figure it out. We're on day four. It's a biggie. I'm very excited about this one. Feels like there's more than one thing in this package. And it's been very nicely wrapped. I thought I wasn't going to get that ribbon open then because I always struggle with them and end up having to get scissors. What do we think we've got? Lots of goodies, I think. Oh my goodness. So the first thing that I'm pulling out. Oh. Some lovely Christmassy ribbon. That's well cute. And will come in very handy. I'll be putting that in my little green bag of goodies that she sent me that's on the end of my towing table. Let's open it all up. Oh my goodness. Oh, she sent me loads of fabric. Oh my gosh. So I've got gorgeous Christmas bows. I have to do lots of sewing, aren't I? These might become mug rugs because I'm addicted to them. So I like that one for a mug rug. Oh, this one. It's got... Are they gnomes? Yeah, they are gnomes. I was going to say, but some of them are Father Christmas gnomes. Look at that. I absolutely love that, Sam. That's going to have to be something special for me, that, because I love gnomes. I think a lot of people do, don't they? And then we've got some more fabric with... Turn it the right way up. Christmas trees on. So they all go really well together. That would be great as a mug rug with that on one of the gnomes on the front fussy cut on that being on the front of the pocket wouldn't it and then that and that with it they all do go together mm. but i've got loads of other stuff to make as well so yeah loving that thanks sam oh there's another thing here oh a pair of thread cutters now, I was scratching round for some of these yesterday at the social and I realised I didn't have any in my social sewing kit. So they will come in very handy indeed. So thanks, Sam. That is a fantastic day for me. Just don't know what to say. And I'm really looking forward to making some beautiful things. With this little sewing kit that she sent me of fabrics that are Christmassy. Yay! So what next? Now, yesterday, I ducked out, didn't have doing a deck a day. Soz. But I just didn't have time. But I promised I would do two today. Because I'm at home all day. I'm going absolutely nowhere. Fingers crossed. So the first thing I'm going to do, in my first for fabrics kit, it's a bit of a cheat this because I've not found it myself, but it is a deck and it's one that I want to make up. 
and in the first of fabrics christmas gift box that i bought i got this very cute nordic star i've not opened it so we'll have a look together because it's it's nice and green and red on the front but with a lot of kits you're not guaranteed they are the colors that you get inside so let's see what we get it's a trim it kit and the idea is you get everything in the kit that you need and indeed you do because you've even got a little ball a little huge piece of stuffing for it ah uh, you see i told you the colors you get aren't on the box and i'm pleased with mine i've got a bright silver star oh how fabulous is that so there's one then a silver one then a gray one so they all have to be yeah, they've all got punched holes in so i think it's a hand sewing one this which will be very nice I'm going to treat myself to watch a Christmas film this afternoon, I think. So I need to sort hand sewing out. So if this is hand sewing, it will be perfect. Yeah, so you've got your thread to sew it with. And I don't know what's in this little packet. Let's get this open. Oh, there's Oh, plastic needle. Very safe for children, this then, isn't it? So if you want a gift for so on, a, on a proper needle, right, so there's a reason why you've got two different needles and I will have to read the instructions. See why. And then a little instruction. Booklet. So, yeah, I'm loving that. Put it all back in its little box. And then we'll get that done. Oop. What's This afternoon. So, I'm going to bob off now and get dressed, take the dogs out. Before I do, I'll be popping up my weekly roundup of the Fabric Godmother calendar and we'll see where we're at. So, what am I doing today? Making me star. Oh, I said two decks a day, didn't I? I apologise. The other idea that I've had is to get some nice Christmassy scent into my sewing room. I'm going to make a door hanger. I'll pop an image up if I can find it of one that I made earlier in the year. I'm, they're like, they can be for your wardrobe, but I'm going to make a bigger one, I think. I might use these fabrics that Sam sent me to hang on the door and I've got some essential oils that are Christmassy I'm going to fill it with rice mixed with a bit of the Christmassy essential oils and hang it on the door so that is Decker Day number two and I'll bob back later when hopefully I've made the star and made the deck the uh, scented door hanger and we can see how I got on the other thing I want to do today is carry on with my coat. They're a never-ending saga of the coat. That is definitely, I'm spending, going to walk the dogs and I'm going to spend the morning until lunchtime working on my coat and see how far I get because I've got all the interfacing fused on. And it's taking me longer because I'm having to record each stage because I'm doing a bit of a how not so long how i got on with this coat vlog that i'm going to put up in january so it's taking longer that way that's my excuse anyway and i'm busy it's christmas hey everybody's busy aren't they but you've got to find time for your sewing so this morning i'm going to spend the morning sewing up some more of my coat and then this afternoon i'm going to do star and the Door, scented door hanger it's a plan we'll see how we get on later have a lovely day seven of vlogmas and i'll see you on the other side bye for now so the week one totals are the seams hand cream 14 pounds the sparkly buttons four pounds 80 
the gift card we're leaving at zero then the needle holder I've priced at three pounds the bias binding is seven pounds the ribbon is only a meter so that's 90 pence and it's a scissors tag for your fabric scissors which is eight pounds so our weekly total is 37.70 and it needed to be at least 35 pounds so we're slightly ahead of the game on week one right i've got quite a bit of my coat done this morning and i was feeling really good until i thought just before I sew the side seams and not round all the pockets, I'll uh, just try it on and check the alignment for the pockets. So I slung it over my shoulders and they were too low down. And I mean, really, too low down. So I abandoned it. Sometimes you just have to walk away, don't you? But I've got everything interfaced. I've got the back sewn together and I've got the shoulders sewn together and now I've got to undo the pockets, unpick them and I'll probably do that tonight. Then it's all ready to tackle again tomorrow. Hey ho, I always knew it was going to be a difficult one this and that's probably why I kept putting it off. So what have I done about Christmas decks? I've got this on by the way because I've just been out for a cheeky lunch with someone I've not seen for a long time so that was really nice and we had a lovely pub lunch and then I've come back I've realised what's gone wrong with the coat but I have made a start on the scented door hangers now you know me I can't just do one I thought one's not going to be enough I want my sewing room to smell of Christmas as soon as I open the door, if not before. So I've made myself three of them. Well, part made. So they've got the fabric from Sam with the little gnomes on and then this fabric was in my first for fabrics box. So I've made three of them. Part made three of them. And then it'll be tomorrow now. I need to get some rice and go into the sewing shack. That's why it's going to be tomorrow because it's starting to get dark and I don't want to go out there. It's horrible and miserable and rainy. I've got to find my essential oils that are in there somewhere and then I'll mix that with some of the rice and layer it up with stuffing, rice, stuffing, rice, stuffing at the top. You get my drift. A layer of each all the way up and then they will be nice and seasonally scented. I fancy gingerbread. I think I've got one that is a gingerbread scent. Oh, that might be one. So I've got three of them to finish off tomorrow. I'm going to put one on the door. I might put one on the outside actually just to annoy everybody so they can smell gingerbread when they walk past and think, oh, that smells good. <laughs> and I don't know where I'm hanging the other one. Somewhere in here. So that probably on the window actually. Yeah, put one on the window, one on the door, and then one on the outside of the door. So I'm gonna finish those off tomorrow. All I'm gonna do is stuff them, and then this is what they look like. This is one of the ones that I made before. So, but instead of having this fancy tag on the top, I'm gonna to use some Christmas. Just grab it because Sam sent me some cute Christmas ribbon goes grey so I'm going to use that turn it the right way around come on I'm going to use that for on the top and then I just hand sew that on and use one of my cute little buttons on the top very Christmassy and if I, if they work if they scent the room really well I might make some more for downstairs get the whole house smelling Christmassy why not so what time are we on now three o'clock so i'm going to grab my kit the star kit well there it is what's it called a nordic snowflake 
and it's a trimmer kit that I got from First and Fabrics in their Christmas gift box. So I'm going to go find myself a Christmas movie, make a nice hot chocolate and sew this star together. And that's today done. So I will see you tomorrow for another fun Christmas debate and advents and hopefully the advent will be better. Oh, figured out what the tag was. Duh. You probably all, when you were watching it this morning, thinking, is she dumb or what? It's a tag for your sewing scissors because it says fabric only. Da da! And you put it on your scissors so that you know these are the ones. And it's great for me because I have two pairs of these a new pair and an old pair. The old pair have been designated as any kind of cutting out scissors but these ones are but definitely the fabric only ones so i know which ones are which now perfecto i can go in my scissor holder everybody loved this yesterday at the sewing social i think there's a few of them god where's all that cotton come from a few of them going to be making one of these i need to make another one when it's not christmas so that i've got one that isn't Christmassy. but hey it only took about half an hour to make so not a problem. Right, I'm definitely going now. I will see you all tomorrow for more Advent and Vlogmas fun.